Except the mic isn't on. Okay. Timing's perfect, I was saying. Clearly I was wrong. So, hey guys. I'm here. I'm sure there's a word for it, but I think, um, you know, the, the ADHD problem of you have so much to do, you just sit there like this and time passes and you still haven't done anything. Um, I realized I had four episodes that have not been produced yet. And it's been really hard to focus. Also, my agent's waiting for something and I keep thinking, I'm out of contract. Wait. That means it's my job. The, the next step has to be mine. So I should pretty much freaking get to work. So I really tried hard today to write. I got about a thousand words, but I'm also rewriting. I'm, I'm fixing an existing proposal, but I still haven't worked on my podcast and I cannot, I, I cannot record another podcast and have five waiting for me. So I just said, I'm going to do co-working we can co-work together and then i hope i'll be able to play uh waffle uh, at least set up waffles for esther that's what this is for um that's my that's my top down desk camera for my solo rpgs i spent like two hours while watching a movie the other day on a whim to make a really cool solo RPG game not not to design the game but to make my plans um, it is the one I really want to do ah, it's called it's got a title it does um let's see I'll find it um well there's one that's called the wretched and one that's called go alone <laughs> Neither of them are cheerful. But you know, with me it'll at least be funny. But, uh, yeah, one is about you're, you're basically the last one alive in deep space after an alien has murdered everybody and you manage to get rid of the alien only you think it might be outside the hull. Also, there's no distress signal, so you're gonna die. And the game is just, how long will it take you? And the other one is you're a sentient sword who's a little bit tired of just slaughtering things. And you're, you're picked up by who you hope will be your last hero. And um, that one's the one I'm excited about. Because that one seemed like a lot of really interesting options for play. And that's called, I think that's called Go Alone. But anyway, I was going to start with something a little bit more, more whimsical called Waffles for Esther. But first, I have to do some audio editing. First, I'm going to say hello to folks under Pope is here. Hello. Hey, Hildy Eric. Kids are asleep is riding like thunder. I like the word Tharn from Watership Down. Yes, exactly. I never know whether I could use that or not. Um, didn't write enough yesterday and have to do EP narrator things, so good timing. Yeah, I, I did do one EP thing that was on fire. The, the email I sent, I sent yesterday without attachments, I sent that today. So, at least I'm okay there. I've also been having really, like, Depressing is the wrong word because it's not like clinical depressant, depressing, but I've been very careful about certain things lately. And I still mess up. It's like, I, I know that if I'm procrastinating or I just avoid looking at my calendar or I forget to look at my calendar or something, then a mistake is understandable. Not forgiven because, you know, but, but, but understandable. But, like, I was very carefully looking at a couple of things, like, trying to do my next two weeks on my calendar, and I still forgot three things. So, that's been making me feel real good about myself. 
um, which isn't helping my productivity any. But I still have, I've showed you guys this before, I still have my shiny new um, episode guide that is constantly changing as I realize things I need to add to it. And actually it does help a little bit. But the most work is just getting the podcast sounding good. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, that's right. I have a bot that that is supposed to work about this kind of thing. I forget. Hang on. It's very exciting. Um, let me find it. Is it super sweet bot? Yes, I think. Yes, it is. Okay. Awesome. Now I just got to find the information on it because I haven't played with it for a while. Hang on. Okay. I got it. Okay, it's this bot. Streamers may be interested. Streamers who do co-working may be more interested in it. But, um, I just need the information. It's killing me. I really should have set this up earlier. Nope. <sighs> it's killing me. Here we go. Super sweet bot. Finally. All right, so... If you want to make a task, this should work. Um, you just do task. Great. Of course, I haven't actually put anything visual to get the list up there. But we're getting there, we're getting there. So if you wanna put your task in there, you can. We can also do a Pomodoro, I believe. Hey, foreigner. So still, I don't know how to get it up on the screen. But, crud. Yeah, but we're, we're getting there. It's not going to help. Okay. And let me know if the music's okay or too loud or too, too quiet. I found the French version of the Patreon for this bot. Google's just getting better and better, isn't it? <laughs> it's still French. <laughs> I don't understand. All right, fine. If you want to put your... I'll figure it out later. I'm actually taking a work time to do this, which is classic ADHD stuff. So... 
you can do uh, task and then say what it is, exclamation point task, and then say what you're working on. And because I've got audio going on here, I'm going to mute my mic. So it's possible I'll forget.
Oh, it appears our timer is done. I am um, about halfway through with one episode. I'm really trying to do a better job of producing them, which means that I give you guys a better product, but it takes me longer. So, um, yeah, so I was putting this in the chat and I realized I could just tell you guys about it. I, Chrome is insisting that I am, uh, in France. Yeah. And every time I try to go, but only pay for, only for the Patreon site. Because I support this bot on Patreon, so I thought, that's where I'll get the documentation. Try to go to Patreon.com and immediately forwards me to the French version. No other site's doing this. It's not like it's my VPN pushing it. I don't know what's happening. And if I reboot, I'll lose my stream. I guess I could restart the browser. Has this ever happened to anybody else? I kind of want to blame Patreon. Yeah, none of my other tabs are doing it. I found the the cheat sheet for the bot. How did how did everybody else do with the work? We did a thirty minute Pomodoro. Oh right, check out documentation on the. Discord. You can't put documentation on the site because that's just too easy. Am I even in the Discord? I don't think I am. God, why is everything so hard? Jesus. Why don't you just put documentation on the site? I mean, it just, just, just put it in the same document as the other documentation. I don't want to go to your Discord. I will not be a good member of your community. Also, they don't have a link to their Discord server. <laughs> uh, fuck. All right. I can swear because I'm not recording this. Well, I'm technically re recording it, but yeah. How's everybody else doing? You missed first 20 minutes to a work meeting? Well, you were just working, but not quite in the same room as us. I came in, saw it was a stream, and immediately started packing for pet sitting, which I've been putting off all day. Hey, I helped. A co-working stream, I see. Phased out, why did you get two hours of sleep? You should get more sleep. Yeah, this is gonna... I'm gonna have to figure this out. Because it's still taking me to the French site. And I can't speak French. Just, just... Just give me... Take me to England, please. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Alright. Um, I want to get together this Waffles for Esther thing. Hopefully I can get this done today, and if not, tomorrow morning, but um, I need a break. I've got a headache. Alright. I am carefully making it. Well, making the desktop neat anyway. Yep, headache bad. Yeah, unfortunately, not, not a lot of people can help me with my problem because the problem is actually that 
I'm on the French site, not that I can't read the French language. I can't, but I think the bigger problem is... Yeah. Anyway. So this is my... scene. Ah, it's, it's upside down, so I'm... Is it mirrored? Ah, oh, crap it is. I thought I fixed that. Um, that didn't do anything. Okay, there we go. Fixed it. Awesome. So, this is Waffles for Esther. This is the sec only the second solo RPG I've done on this channel, so please be kind. I need to change my... Uh... Can I change my title? And I don't... Someone once told me what I should put as the game when I was doing a solo RPG. Hope you feel better phased out. Oh good, I muted before I sneezed. You're welcome. to go actually to Twitch. Well, that seems weird. Ah, no one comes to me anyway. I'll figure it out later. Okay. Anyone else read Small Town Hunks? It's hijinks, but we can put Small Town Hunks in there. We have the power. Do I have a cloth around here that I want to use? I can clean this off in a moment. Oof. Are these still wet? Not at all. A lie. It says wet ones, and it's a lie. But it still smells like alcohol. How does it manage that? No, that didn't work. Oh, wait, it's working. This is going to be our map. amongst yourselves. <laughs> Is anybody playing the new Stardew Valley? Good enough. 
Now you'd think I'd I'd test these before I um played them, but that's not how I roll. I blame ADHD in the fact that if I start prepping too much, I'll get bored and never do it. I used to scribble over it with fresh marker, then white method. I forgot that was a thing. I've heard you mention that before, actually. Don't play Stardew, but I saw you can have a lot of cats. That is that is the theory, yes. Um, I only have one pet right now. But... Okay, looks like we're dry. Yeah, that's why I brought out a wet one, but it was a dry wet one, if that means anything. No? It's not gonna work. Okay, I can't get the 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 the. Uh... Oh. I can't get the camera that's supposed to focus on my face to focus on my face, which pretty much fits with the rest of today. So that works. Sorry, but I'm still here. Trust me. So we got the solo mystery game, and here's the deal. Right, I need to get something to journal on because I don't have any blank books in this house. I got paper down here. I've got this going over here and my pen. There we go. Your shift has just started. You're a waitress at the local diner, trying to deliver a hot plate of freshly made waffles to your favorite regular, Esther. They're her everyday waffles she gets with her everyday order. A coffee, one sugar, and a splash of milk. Waffles with two strawberries sliced with apple jam syrup on the side. Later, she'll get a plate of hash browns, extra ketchup to finish it all up. But as you return with Esther's waffles, she is nowhere to be found. She is your favorite regular, and so you take it upon yourself to find out where she's gone. Did she pop out for a quick errand? Is there an insidious plot underway? So our character has two skills. And those skills are waitressing and detective. Detecting, I suppose. The waitress must keep the waffle safe, avoid contact with people, and make polite conversation. The detective wants to investigate, uncover, discover, ask questions, get into places you don't belong. We're supposed to assign dice to this, and no matter how much how many dice I have in this house, I don't have any right now here. So, I do have a dice app, though, I think. There we go. I've got a D12 and a D10. So, uh, do you guys, one of them goes to each one. Do you, should we be higher in waitressing or in detecting? Let's see, we got detecting for higher. So, D12 is detecting. That doesn't need a thing in there. I know how to write. D10 is waitress. The second S went off the edge. Um, Foreigner, since I took uh, the kids are sleeps first, you get to name our waitress. I get veto power. I don't anticipate you guys are going to do anything terrible, but I get veto power. Do you know our waitress's name? Ooh. 
Lynn with two N's. And my marker is already dying. Okay. Things to get before these solo RPGs. Good marker. Clean board. Dice. Okay. So we got Lynn. Lynn is uh, not, not, not necessarily a newcomer to town, but she's uh, not been there a long time. So uh, I'm thinking what brought her to this town was she hopes she will inherit the diner from her great aunt, also named Lynn. But uh, her great aunt is sick a lot, and so uh, Lynn has to work lots of shifts at the diner, which is how she knows everybody really well. Her aspirations are to be an entrepreneur and own her own diner and perhaps one day uh, franchise. Her favorite mystery novel is And Then There Were None. Even though there's no detective in it. She thinks about this a lot. Probably more than she should. The Waitress Lynn. Um, can someone tell me if she's ever had her heart broken? Yes. Did she arrive heartbroken? In middle school. <laughs> heartbroken since middle school. She is all work. Okay, so to use a skill, we roll a die. On a 1 to 2, failure. On a 3 to 4, hijinks happen. On a 5 plus, success, find one clue. On a 10 plus, success, find two clues. On a failure, something bad happens. On hijinks, wild hijinks happen, but you find no clues. And once per game, you can refill both skills to their max die rating by going back to the diner and drinking a fresh cup of coffee. Oh, and every time we have to reduce a skill, we have to go down the, the die chain. So the d12 becomes a d10 and d10 becomes an 8, etc. All right, we're supposed to have playing cards, too. I'll get better at this as time goes on. All right, so... I am terrible at... maps. Because I have trouble playing, thinking visually. We got the locations. We're just going to have a main street. Then cross street here. So you got diner. And it's across the street from the gas station. Town Hall, of course, is at the end of the road. Barber shop near the diner. I like that. I think we should have the park near the town hall. 
nice big green space. And the school on the other side of the street. Tell me if I'm zoning any of this wrong. What do we have left? Hardware store. Gas station. Hardware store. And the pharmacy. I know we could have a more interesting town. But this is my first time playing. Church. Church is going to be next to the school. Do we have any other markers? One. Oh, good. Thank you, kids are asleep, because I was afraid I was boring everybody. Um, the, um, the color means nothing, just that I found a different marker with sharper tips. So, um, do not read into the color. So we got church, library also needs to be near the school. It'll be next to the park then. Wow, this is, this, why is everything terrible? It's like wet. Need better wipe-off markers. Okay, so we got town hall, church, library, barbershop, park, post office, school, funeral home, warehouse. The warehouse needs to be near the hardware store and the pharmacy. That's called the where. That's what the kid. That's what the kids in town call it. The cool kids. Need one shop that's been a variety of unsustainable independent businesses over the years. Yarn shop, handmade soaps, pet grooming. Um. Okay, so post office. School. Funeral home. Well, the only place left is beside the barber shop. As Alison Bechtel said, fun home. All right, we got our we got our map. And if any of you missed this while the ad was playing, um, when you fail in your die roll, you uh, lose you reduce your skill, so your D twelve skill becomes a D ten, and so on down. Now, can I do different sides here with this dice app? Um. Oh, good, I can. No, I don't want the reward. I don't care anymore. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Dang it. <sighs> I have to view an ad to get the get the color and then I decided I didn't want the color but it's not letting me cancel out the ad so anyway um one thing I do need is a deck of playing cards and I don't have that so I guess I'll um oh hi Rosa reward granted I really don't care okay I got my d12 and I need a d10 D16, wow. Okay. Don't know if you can see that very well, but here are the dice I'm rolling. Alright, so we will figure out... Can somebody find for me if there's a... I know there's a random number generator online. Is there a random card drawer? And I will be better prepared next time. Yikes, did I say something wrong? All right. So the investigation starts. During the investigation, you'll complete rounds until you've finished all 13 locations. Oh, I'm sorry, Forerunner. Hang on a second.
Let me see if this works. It's supposed to work. Nope. Nightbot says... Jesus. Nightbot, I, I, I have said with this command you should be able to do things, but it doesn't work. I'll just go to... Thank you very much, Forerunner. I will go to random.org. Maybe I'll just cut that off because I really am not... I don't get spammed by a lot of people. I don't know. Um... Playing card shuffler. Yay, thank you. Yay, thank you. Awesome, this is exactly what I need. Okay. So each round, we uh, choose a location to investigate, roll on the complications table, resolve the complication, gather a clue or run into hijinks and they go to the next location we can only perform one deduction per game all right it looks like we can get started so we have come out of the kitchen and we're thinking probably about little tommy wilson who broke our hearts back in middle school and how we've never dated since and it still stings a little bit but, you know, we're trying to move up and move on because an entrepreneurial future is within our grasp. We just have to, you know, work hard to get it. It's the American dream, baby. So, but we come out and our good friend Esther is gone. And um, does anybody tell me what her table looks like? Is it completely clean or is it... Uh, does it look like she left in a hurry? Yeah, I'm sorry, Froner. I need to go in and, and see why Nightbot's doing that. Completely clean like she was never there. Aha! Okay, well that is weird. Because I'm wondering if she took that coffee cup with her. But whatever, I think it's time for us to go find Esther. And so I'm going to write this down. Esther is gone. Clean like she was never there. Yeah, Nightbot is supposed to let you do, allow someone to 60 seconds to post a link. And it did not do that. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking the first place we go is nearby. And I think we should go to the gas station because if Esther had to leave town, she might want to fill up there. So we're going to go there and look for a clue. Now, how do we do this? Again. It's not a big book. Okay, so we roll the die and then something bad happens or hijinks happen. Oh no, we choose the, the complications table happens. So we roll 2d6 for that. It didn't say that. One d6. They're all the same color. Another D6. Okay. So we're going to roll these. Nope, that's not how that works. Okay. So we got a 1 and a 5. So I'm going to look on this, this thing. 1 and 5. Oh, God. Why did the school decide this was the place for a field trip? There must be 100 kids running around and screaming. At the gas station. Is anybody else picturing Zoolander where they were just like spraying gasoline on each other? And that it's like I remember almost nothing from Zoolander except for that scene, which was just the weirdest, funniest scene I can remember. 
But, um, so we go to the gas station. Now, I think my theory is here. Yes, the bus forgot to fill up before leaving school. Um, I think what's happening here is we're going to need the waitress skill. Because kids, you know, wrangling a whole bunch of kids. Detectives don't do that. They sit in cars and eat peanuts all night. While waitresses have to deal with everybody. And at all times of the day and all times of... Uh, personalities. So definitely think we need to use our waitressing skill here. And um, I believe we're going to yell at the kids that if anybody can tell us if they saw, uh, if anybody can give us information as to where Miss Esther is. And everybody knows Miss Esther. I don't know what Miss Esther does. Do we, do we know what she does? I think she's probably retired. Which is why she spends a lengthy morning in the diner every morning. But anyway, she's been there forever. Everybody knows her. So, if anybody knows where Miss Esther is, there's a free piece of pie waiting for you. And so I'm rolling our D10. It's going to roll all four of them. You guys can't see that. Sorry. It's going to roll all four, but we do the D10. This one. So, five. That's not good. That's the deduction roll. Yeah. On a five. Oh, success. Find one clue. Go us. And I believe the clues are in the back. Oh, and this is where we draw a card. We have drawn the four of diamonds. So four of diamonds. Okay. So uh, one kid. Uh, Susie. I can't think of last names. Just Susie. Nobody needs her last name. There's only one Susie in the class. And that makes her lonely because everybody else seems to have multiple Jessicas and Aaron's and Eric's and Brian's and all that. But anyway, little Susie has been all alone and so she uh, wasn't playing with any of the other kids, playing with the, with the gas pumps or playing with the cash register, or playing with the uh, Little Debbies in the gas station. So she actually found an, uh, a damaged cutting board. I'm writing this down. Now, the way we know it's Esther's is it's got an E-S-T-H on it. And we thought, well, it could be Est's, but it's probably Esther's. But it is dam- How is it damaged? Is it burned? Is it scored? Is it broken? You guys decide that while I put a mark on the gas station saying we've been there. Or I'll try. There we go, we got something that worked, yay! It's like a drop of blood. Alright. Well, if nobody comes up with anything, I'm saying it's burned. Which is weird, because we did not see Miss Esther having any signs of fire damage, either her or clothing. We would hope that she would go to the ER if that did happen. But... The cutting board is burned. I'm wondering why she's carrying her her uh, favorite cutting board that her old husband gave her before he died. And why she would let it get away from her. Alright, so somebody tell me where we're going next. We got... The barbershop, hardware store, pharmacy, funeral home, post office, warehouse, church, library, park, school, town hall. You guys get to choose this one. Ah. 
Diner's obvious. Forerunner says warehouse. We are going to the warehouse. Big and creepy. I love it. That's the wrong color again. All right. It seems like at the warehouse we'll want our detecting skills. So we're going to roll the d12. Ooh, we got a two. Failure, no clue, reduced skill. Oh, that sucks. Hey, Jasmine. Let me see specifically what happens with a failure. If you fail, run into hijinks. Right, right about here, you're hindered in your search. Um, I think what we find is... Um, gosh, what's a clue that doesn't help? I think we find it locked. Like with a big, fat chain. The kind of chain that like normal people can't even lift, much less unlock. And... It's like all the doors are locked. We can't get in at all. I mean, this is like stupid luck. This is like, you know, putting a, a retinal scanner on your bathroom door so nobody comes in. This is task complete. Pick the next flashback story. Awesome. You realize the kids are asleep. You're, um, you're, you're, you're making me look really bad actually doing the EP work while I'm doing this. Oh boy. All right. So our D12 becomes a D10. Let me mark that. No, no, that's not what I'm doing. There we go. Get rid of that. Choose another D10. Nope. Where? Oh, here. No. Dang it. I need help. Oh, add. There we go. Add another D10. Alright. <laughs> Please, I stream video games nightly. Yes, you do. And you guys should follow The Kids Are Asleep if you're not already doing so. Alright, so who wants to choose where we go next? Kids Are Asleep. Before you start your next uh, thing, do you want to tell us where to go next? We have hardware store, pharmacy, barbershop, funeral home, post office, library, church, school, park, town hall. Sorry, I'm trying to remember. Something actually bad was supposed to happen to us with the, um, with the failure. I think we stumbled and broke our magnifying glass that we thought we needed when we put, took up detecting. The library. All right. In the library, are we using waitressing or detecting? I think we're still on detecting. Or do we choose that after? Damn it, I just started this game. Choose a location, then roll on the complications table. That's what I forgot for the warehouse. It's my first time playing, guys. Please be patient. Mm. All right. Back to the warehouse, where we already know we're going to fail. We're going 1-1. You encounter your nemesis upon entry or heading to another floor. Stairs. They always trip you up and these look well greased. Okay, well, our nemesis is the one who locked the door with the chain. And the steps outside the warehouse that lead to the warehouse basement are greased. And we slip and, you know, twist an ankle pretty badly. That's how we failed. Which is a lot more interesting than what I said. Um, our nemesis is our cousin, actually. Um, 
who is Lynn's granddaughter. Yes, sorry, Forerunner, I forgot the complication part, but we got it now. Um, and our cousin's name is Eartha. She obviously is our nemesis because she thinks she should get the diner when our great aunt Lynn has already, you know, said we're going to get it. So now we're going to the school. Roll 2d6 on the 66 table. 1, 2, 5, 5. That's easy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. An excitable merchant is hawking their wares in the library and setting up dazzling display of useless goods at the front. You have to find a way around. All right, kids are asleep. You wanted the library. What is this person hawking at the library where you can get books for free? Girl Scout cookies. Oh, man. I'm I'm thinking we're going to need our waitressing skills again. Anything involving food, we're going to need a waitressing skill. Whether it's to be able to decide who gets what or to recommend all the kids go over to the crappy newest cookie that's got like low fat and stevia when everybody knows nobody will want it, but they want a healthy cookie this year. And so you're trying to get the kids to go to that part so you can get through. That's, that's what I'm saying. And so we're now at two, we have a D10 for both of our skills here. I'm going to say that this one is our waitressing, or yes, our waitressing D10. Nine, yes! What do we get on a nine? And get, okay, find one clue. Sweet. And then on the clue... The Jack of Clubs. We found a torn photo. So I guess we went by the librarian who also was uh, stacking her arms full of Thin Mints. And um, did we... I think we... I'm not sure if our little town library has stacks or not. It seems like you'd want to go looking for a clue in the stacks. But I'm pretty sure we just looked behind the counter. And saw a torn picture of Esther on the floor. And it looked like someone had torn, like, down the side with Esther on one side and somebody mysterious on the other. <gasps> Blind torn photo. This is helping my improv skills. Where is Esther in this photo? Is it a holiday? Is it, um, are they on location? Are they on vacation? Is there something pretty beside them? A uh, tourist trap? Sitting in front of the library when it first opened. Nice. In front of... Well, if she were there when it opened, do you think she was with the old mayor? Now, this town has had the same mayor for like 20 years. Do you think she was sitting with the mayor... In that picture? I'm gonna say yeah. I'm thinking... I'm thinking that's what it was. Alright, so next place, I'm thinking our clue is leading us directly to the town hall. So we're going to the town hall and now we get our complications. One, two... Six, five. Six, five. 
The local band is putting on a live show and they've asked you to join in as they're down a singer. Wow. At the town hall even. Uh, somebody give me the band's name. I don't know why they're setting up, like, at 10, 10 a.m. on a Tuesday. But you know what? Wet leather. Wet leather! Okay. I really hope we find a clue here. Or hijinks occur. We haven't had any hijinks yet. So, um... This is our... Oh, are we are we detecting or... I guess it doesn't matter because they're both the same die, but... No, it needs... it. We need to know because of the um, storytelling aspect. So, um, are we detecting or are we waitressing here? That's tough. Detecting for sure. Okay, foreigner. Thank you. We are detecting. That's our detecting D10 right there. One! Man, critical fail! We forgot that we can't sing. Dang, that sucks. Well, we, we try to help them out a little bit. Maybe thinking that if we get into the band, we can like start talking to them. Because I'm pretty sure that the drummer is the mayor's son. But... No, we just kind of, the minute we open our mouths, it's just like terrible, terrible sound. Poor Lynn cannot sing. She looks good on stage, but she can't sing. So alas, we also lose a die. And replace it with a D8. Why can't, why can't I do this? There we go. Our detecting is now a D8. So we have struck out with wet leather. And um, the drummer, his name is Marlon, is just really unimpressed and does not want to help us out at all. I'm sorry, I'm reading the chat, the frosty tools. All right, so, um, critical fail. I think what happens is we're going to have to break one of their instruments, and that's what really gets us in trouble. I'm thinking the uh, bass. This is the wrong 10 o'clock for him. <laughs> He's not happy about it. Yes, he's barely awake, and then we go we go and break his bass player's best Moserite, and uh, just not happy at all. So we gotta hightail it out of the town hall without any clues at all. Gosh, well this sucks. Uh, it says there's an ad break. I'm gonna wait till the end. If everybody in the sound, within the sound of my voice can hear this, then tell me if there's not an ad break. Because it could be lying. Sometimes it lies. Alright, it says it's back. It promises. No ad for you yet. Okay. Well, we'll see. Um, Alright, so that was my choice. Uh, where should we go now that Wet Leather has kicked us out of the band and we had just like one five-minute moment of stardom? I'd say we're pretty despondent now. I'm thinking maybe the park? 
Does anybody else have any suggestions? If no one suggests something, we're going to the park. That says, it looks like it says pants on the, oh well. My suggestions keep leading to failure. Your suggestions are great. The dice lead to the failures. All right, we'll go to the park. We're rolling our D6. One, two, three, two. Down three, over two. Why are there so many flowers in here? Dense stacks of pots and overgrown flowers block your path. A dense jungle of daisies. I think uh, we walked into the park and we forgot they were preparing for our small town's version of the Rose Parade. Or, more likely, the florist sent all the flowers early, got the dates wrong, so nobody's there to take care of them. So there's just, like, flowers everywhere and nobody there to take care of it. So, um, we're going to try to d detect... I think detecting goes here. Our detecting is the D8, though. So we're going to say detecting. Four. We're wrong, but there's hijinks. We get hijinks, finally. Where are the hijinks? Where are the hijinks? I thought there was a thing. Wait, hang on. I thought there was a thing of hijinks. There's no list of hijinks. I thought there was a list, but, but, but. It all has to be creative? Bah. Fine. All right. First, we move our D8 down to a D10. Uh, six. We'll just use one of these. Well, since we have to do the creative stuff ourselves and the game's not going to help us out, um, I say we have a, we have an allergic reaction to all of the flowers and we sneeze a lot and knock some stuff over and, you know, just kind of crumple in a little heap until one person who saw the stuff going there, who saw the flowers being delivered, drove their pickup over to help organize and found us. And in going, they want to drive us to the pharmacy. But the pharmacy's like three steps down. So should we take, should we take the, yes, yeah, comically covered in petals and leaves. Should we take the ride or should we walk? Because um, I think it's more hijinky to take the ride and see what happens, but also we we could be in an untrusting mindset here. We do have a limp! I forgot the limp! You're right! Okay, so um... What's our, what's our uh, uh, savior's name? Mr. Hodges. All right, he takes us to the pharmacy where we ask if they have any Benadryl. All right. Let's get some complications going with the pharmacy. Uh, one, five. Another effing field trip? There's another field trip. It's like the kids all went from the gas station to the pharmacy. I guess they've only got like two chaperones, and so the kids have to stay with the chaperones at all times. That's gotta suck. 
Well, luckily, I think we know what to do here. They are in our way in buying our Benadryl and talking to the pharmacist, whose name is Ruth, because that's the name of one of my pharmacists, and I like her very much. And um, so we're trying, we're, we're trying to get to Ruth the pharmacist, but there are like a, a ton of kids in there, and I just really wish they'd stop following us around. So we are going to waitress at them. Critical fail is another one. Wow, we're good at this. Okay. I think we uh, try to flirt with Mr. Hodges a little bit, but we are, um, the allergies are getting worse and worse and worse. And so we are becoming just so kind of gross to him. He just kind of pats us on our shoulder and says, good luck. Um, and I'm like, no, and I need to talk to Ruth about the thing. And Esther is, and no one can help me. And I'm all alone. So I'm gonna go hang out with Susie who was all alone before. And she has a tissue because Susie's kind like that. No clue. Wow. We don't have a lot of clues. This is bad. I'm still trying to figure out the difference between a fail with hijinks and a fail with non-hijinks. Because you fail both times. And we're supposed to describe what happens anyway. And what's funny is I keep looking up at the camera even though I know it's not turned on. Alright, that was my guess. The pharmacy, where should we go after this? We are, um, we're supposed to be good at detecting. I know! That's right, I gotta change. You guys decide where I go next while I change my um, die here. No, why, why can't I fig Okay, there we go. Okay, detecting is a D8 and... Uh, no, detecting is a D6, waitressing is a D8. Yeah, I know, we just like failed so many detecting rolls. Where should we go from here? Happily defer to anyone else, and since all the kids are on field trips, maybe we could poke around the school. Oh, <gasps> foreigner, you're brilliant. That's a great idea. It'd be really funny if we rolled a one out of five again. Why did all the kids? Cool, why are all the kids here? Okay. Three and one. Okay, good. Three and one. Something very heavy is causing an impediment to finding your next clue. What is it? How do you overcome it? If it's heavy, I'm thinking we're going to need waitressing because you got to lift a lot of like five gallon jugs of stuff to stuff. So I'm thinking waitressing and our waitressing is the D8. Yes, we got a five. We got a clue, guys. Ooh, we got a clue. Ha, ha, ha. Great. Our third clue is... Three of spades. All right, let me write this down real quick. Um, well, we've been lifting heavy stuff at the diner and our other jobs for years, so we're not too concerned about whatever's in the way. So we are able to move it aside, and then we find three of spades, which is a business card of I'm gonna say it's a florist his business card of a new florist in town with the same last name as the mayor so um, All right, so we got a business card and we got the 
cutting board and we got the fo the photo. Bags of feed for the AG class? Exactly. Exactly. Those are our successes. Well, I think uh, the plot is thickening and we're looking at we need to talk to the mayor, but we've already screwed up at the town hall. We've got to figure out who this new florist is. So, um... We can go check on the church and see if anybody saw Esther. Going that way. Um, so, complications... Six and three. Six and three. The person in this building is sound asleep, and you know they are notoriously difficult to stir, but you need their help for a lead. So we got the vicar, like, sprawled out on the front pew. And he's using the Bible as a cushion, and we feel a little weird about this. But, um, we're going to... God, is that waitressing or detecting? It feels waitressing. Just in the whole, gotta deal with different people at different, when different mindsets. What do you guys think? Waitressing or detecting? Our waitressing skill is at D8 and our detecting is a D6 right now. While you guys think, I'm gonna check this out. I forget how many... Are we allowed to go to all of the locations? Ah, you get basically 13 rounds. You can visit all 13 locations or you can visit 12 and go back to the diner for your coffee to re refill your, um, refill your dice. All right, so if nobody wants to say, then I'm going to say we're using, um, waitressing because, like, waking up drunks in the middle of the night to go home after you put a couple of cups of coffee and some hash browns in them. It's pretty much the way of life. So we're going to do the waitressing. Five. Yes. We get a clue. We wake up the vicar. We're like, yo, vicar. Number one, why are you sleeping at 10 o'clock on a Tuesday morning? And number two, where's Esther? And the vicar says, vicar says six of spades, man. An intercepted message. The vicar's a narcoleptic, and he falls asleep when he's upset. Uh-oh. Is the stream still up? Because it just said I was connecting. Well, I'll wait on you guys to tell me what's going on in the chat. Of course, if I'm not still streaming, then I'm just talking to myself. Anyway, we'll keep going. Um, so yeah, what happened was the vicar intercepted a message. The message was to, um, gosh, what was the message? Ah, my brain is empty now. We need a message that the vicar intercepted. Ah! Of course, the mayor showed up for an early mass and then left his cell phone. And when he picked, when the vicar picked it up, he saw the text message preview pop up. So that's how he intercepted the message. 
But I believe the message was... She won't be in our way for much longer. And seeing as the vicar doesn't know who it is, but it sounds violent, he kind of got upset and then lost consciousness. And I'm not making fun of narcoleptics. I know a narcoleptic who, when you surprise them with humor, like a really big surprise, did not see coming at all, um, they fall asleep. Anyway, so we got us an intercepted message from the church. The way we woke the vicar up, by the way, is we always carry a thermos of coffee with us. And this isn't the magic coffee that can help us refill our dice, but it is magic coffee that will wake up a vicar. In fact, we're going to call, we're going to call it, um, we're going to change the roast name and call it Wide-Eyed Vicar. All right, we're getting somewhere. We got four clues, not bad. All right, um, I think we should start making our way back this way. So town hall or, or post office. Got a five and a three. A water main must have broken. This building is flooding and fast. Water gushes up from the floor and threatens to destroy everything. At the post office? That's terrible. Because there's all of our um, mail order catalog things. And there's the fact that the postal people don't really get paid enough to care. And so they've already left. So it's just me and the flood. And again, very much this is a waitressing skill of dealing with unexpected plumbing issues. This is actually much nicer than other plumbing issues that this character has had to deal with. So she doesn't bat an eye. I'm finding that we're using more waitressing skills than um, detecting, but we're finding stuff, so I'm not going to worry about it. What do we get? We got a four. I think that's a failure with the hijinks. It is. I believe so. Hang on. Ah. Yes, failure with hijinks. We are down two D6s for both skills and... I think as we, we, we strained our muscles even more picking up the, the stuff in the school because the, in the school, where we picked up the heavy stuff because, um, we forgot we have a bum knee or ankle, a bum leg. And so as we're trying to, uh, figure out where the water's coming from, we slip and fall. And so that leg is pretty messed up now. And now we're soaking wet. And we've probably shorted out our cell phone. It's pretty bad. Um, post office. Flooded. We fall. Hurt self. Kill phone. I like how I said mail order catalog and cell phone in the same sentence. Or the same location anyway. I'm clever. Okay. Okay. Um, well, we're just going up the street now. Funeral home. Everybody loves a good funeral home. One in five. Those goddamn kids! The kids... I'm not, I'm not making this up, guys. The kids are now at the funeral home. What is going on with this school trip? I... I... Please help me here, guys, because I do not know what's happening. I gotta turn the page, because this is just too much. Kids, more kids. What, what are the odds that we'd roll a one and a five that many times? It in that order, because this, this one was the first one and this one was the second one. I've been consistent.
That is that what happened? Oh man. Shit. I should have put something in the chat. Cause it it at one point it kind of cycled and told me it was reconnecting to chat, and I thought, uh-oh, what's going on? Wow. So you guys did not even find you didn't even hear what just happened. Cause what was the last thing you heard? Oh shit, 10 minutes. Dang. Well, I will sum up for you. Um, we found the business card at the school. Then we went to the, um, went to the church, found the vicar asleep. But the vicar, we did find a clue and that was an intercepted message, which was the mayor's cell phone, which was left behind. And the message was, we need to get her out of the way. Wow, okay, so that was way back. Um, then we went to uh, the post office, which was flooded, and we, uh, our bad knee or bad ankle let go, and we fell and hurt it pretty badly and broke our phone in the post office. And the post office is still flooding, but it's not our problem. It's not anybody who works at the post office problem either because they're paid so short, so poorly. So it's just going to flood. But then we went to the funeral home. Guys, we went to the funeral home. And now the kids are at the funeral home. I am not making this up. The damn kids are at the funeral home. They're just making their way up the street. It's just... I do not... I'm, I'm afraid to, to roll for... A clue now, because I don't know what's going to happen. Yes, I know! The kid, I think the kids have got to have something to do with this, because it's just getting too weird. Alright, so... I'm, I'm at a loss. Detecting or... Uh, waitressing to figure out why all the... To find a clue among all the children who are running around the funeral home. There must be a hundred kids running around and screaming. At this point, I don't think it's a field trip. They're just wandering. <laughs> They're feral. They've turned feral. All right. Um, waitressing has actually been pretty good to us. So I'm going to keep up with that. This, the lower die, is the waitress one. Three. See, I should have said upper. Crud. I believe that's hijinks. That's hijinks. All right. Well... We, th there's, there, there is a body who is, uh, preparing, getting prepared for their funeral, but, uh, the funeral home guy isn't there, and the kids have already pulled the body out of the, um, out of the casket and are kind of, like, walking it around like a puppet or, like, Weekend at Bernie's, and in, in my desperate attempt to stop them from doing that, um, I step on something and it crunches and I don't know what it was and I don't know who this person is, but, uh, I break something and that was my clue and it's gone now. They play Weekend at Bernie's. All right. Wow, this just it <clears throat> just getting wild here. All right, we got the hardware store and the barber shop. I think we should go to the hardware store and then the barber shop because the barber shop is where all the gossip happens. And now that we've passed the kids as they're going this way up the street and we're going this way, we can find out if they're following us because if they end up in one of these places, they're following us. I'm telling you. All right. So we're going to the barbershop. This is one and this is two. Five, six. Five, six. 
A mime is performing here and putting up an invisible wall, blocking your way. Can they be tricked into lowering it? So we've got a mime stopping the customers at the hardware store. It's probably what the kids are running away from. Um, I think this is a detecting thing. This is a, you know, deal with, with people or try to avoid them kind of thing. So detecting is the top D6. Three. Criminy. Yeah, that's high jinx. Well, one sec. Well, I think the mind puts us in the in the box, and we can't get out. And um. It's just, it's just bad. We, mine puts us in a box in a hardware store, locks it with an imaginary key. I'm writing this down. Okay, so mine puts us in a box in the hardware store and then uses an imaginary key, and that's when we can tell that the mime is actually our nemesis, our cousin, Bertha. So Bertha's locked us in the um, hardware store. And we need the kids to get us out, but they're like playing puppets down at the funeral home. So here's, here's the question. Once we bust out of this. Um, we have one... Two, three, four clues. Wow, that's awful. <laughs> I'm rolling so poorly. We have four clues, which will get us a uh, one, two, three, four, a D6 to try to get this, which means we win, we get it on a five or six. We can. Actually, we don't have, there's, there's no choice really. We could skip the gar barbershop and go back to the diner and refill our coffee, but then we'd be de deducing, so we should go to the post bar pff, go to the barbershop and try to get a clue. Now, who's going to tell me how we get out of the invisible box? They're the waitress detective now. No! Is there an ad? I can't tell. I can't trust it anymore. Well, invisible lockpicks, of course. Thank you. I think Susie got us our invisible lockpicks because she followed us um, when she saw the mime at the hardware store. I think Susie's going to be our um, our assistant from now on. Our dot to our Miss Fisher, if you will. All right, so we're at the barber shop. Saying, has anybody seen or know anything about Esther or whatever the hell's going on with the florists in town? And um, I'm going to go for, well, first I'm going to roll the complications. One, two, six, three, six, three. How is it possible that I got duplicates? Okay, so the kids are free and there's a sleeping sickness because now... The guy, the main barber is in his own chair, dead to the world, just completely asleep. So, he, we, we know he's notoriously kind of prickly. Um, we made the mistake of going somewhere else to get our hair cut once. So, we're going to try to sneak around and find a clue without waking him up. 
And uh, I'm going to go for the top D6 and I'm um, rolling detecting. <laughs> we fail. He wakes up. He's very unhappy. He throws us out. Say, Aster, I never heard of her. And you know that they like went to high school together and dated once. Oh, what a bad, bad set of events. I don't even, I think I was even supposed to bring these down, but I didn't. It's a failure either way. No, this was the barber shop. Um. Okay. Throws us out. All right. We are back to the diner. We don't... I'm, I'm worried about Esther. Um, we need to take our clues and piece them together. And um, we need to find out where is Esther? Why did she leave? What is she doing? Are there complicated plots? Or is it crazy rural hijinks? Well... Um, Hey, starving. I believe that Esther's old boyfriend, the brother of the mayor, was coming back to town. And Esther was not happy about that. And uh, we were wrong. It was not her husband who gave her the cutting board with her name on it. But it was this guy. And uh, they did not leave on good terms, and I believe it had something to do with the Mafia and Flowers, but Esther really doesn't like to talk about it. But since he's moving back into town, she was moving to stop him. So she found, uh, he left the, like, he left the, the, the cutting board on her front doorstep as, like, a threat. And so she's been looking for him. She lost track of time at the diner, which is why she ran out. She wouldn't dine and dash. That's not Esther. So, she's been trying to um, find out more about when he's coming to town and waiting for his attack of highly allergic flowers instead of hypoallergenic flowers. And I'm betting she's in the town hall held by the mayor who thinks she has his phone. And he's waiting for his brother to show up. And then they'll decide what to do with her. And Susie and us need to go help. So the deduction means we take all the clues we have and we go up. So we got D0246. So we have four clues. So we're rolling a D6. I don't like our chances. I'm not going to lie. It's a one third chance. But I'm going to go ahead and just so I don't get bitter. It's going to take that away a two well either we're wrong or we can't get Esther and she's now gone and now I'm sad I was actually not going to be my role but it feels like I'm fudging if since I accidentally rolled it I don't care that's my it's my game that was actually not going to be my role this is the official role. Here it comes. <laughs> okay. Esther's gone. Oh, it's so sad. Esther's gone. I don't even think Susie wants to join us anymore, considering how this played out. But now we have to worry about keeping the d diner out of the hands of our nemesis. So... All we can do is hope that, you know, Esther somehow finds her way back to us. I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope you guys did, except for the, when you missed the, the third appearance of the gaggle of children. Which just, I still can't believe that happened. Two sleeping people and three gaggles of children in this. And we were rolling... There's, there's, 
there's so many complications. There's there's 36 complications, and we still got two of them multiple times. Anyway, I hope you guys have had fun. This was a nice distraction for me. Head still hurts, but not quite as bad. Um, I'm going to see who's online. I'm surprised there aren't rules for duplicates. You know, I'm surprised too, but it was really funny. And I think, you know, it can make it can make things interesting if you play it that way. Like, either there's a sleeping sickness in town, or we are just letting the children run free. Yes, Starvin, this is a solo RPG. It is called Waffles for Esther. It's a very simple thing where you are a waitress, and you are uh, one of your regular customers, Esther, goes missing. Like, she leaves her table and goes away. And you have to wander around the town and look for clues to try to find her. We did not roll well at all. Um, well, what we did was we, this told us, it set it up for us, and then we roll on the complications. So we have 36 complications to choose from. So, like, we went to the gas station, and why did the school decide this was a place for a field trip? So we had to figure out what the kids were doing there and how they were going to try to stop us from getting a clue. Um, but the weird thing happened... I rolled that three times. <laughs> so the kids were at the gas station and they were at, uh, where else were they? They were at the funeral home and the pharmacy. Yes, they were at the pharmacy. So um, it's a journaling game, but since I'm doing it online, all I did, all I did was make notes. And I might write this up to be amusing online somewhere else, but... Um, Yes, pharmacy. Some, uh, but yeah, so we tried to make up, it, it's got some interesting complications to let you fill in a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, the, the missing pieces yourself. The, the, uh, band getting ready to play at the, at the town hall at 10 a.m. on a Tuesday was really interesting to play with. And then on this page, we got the clues, which we draw by picking playing cards. So, you know, the clues are, the clues are a will and testament, scribbled notes by Esther, a buttered knife, not a butter knife, a buttered knife, a pen filled with poison, a crook, a cooked society ledger, stuff like that. It looks like there's supposed to be an evil society going on because all the kings are a burned journal of a society member, a cooked society ledger, hints about the society, an emblem of the society. I think we missed the whole society thing, but it bears future uh, figuring out. Didn't love the mind as a complication. Really specific, but all the others were neat. Okay. Anyway, so that was the game. Thank you guys very much for, for coming along with me and helping me out in places. Um, Urban Bohemian's playing Animal Crossing. I love a good Animal Crossing. We will go raid our friend Urban Bohemian. Thank you guys for co-working with me. Thank you for uh, solo RPGing with me. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And I'm glad I finally made myself. I did not use any of the Star Wars Lego figures I thought I need would need, but I'm not cutting them out of future game ideas. Um, remember to check out the Kids Are Asleep, who was streaming at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. Um, are you still doing Control? And also tomorrow when Valerie will be streaming um, uh, uh, Horizon Forbidden West. So be sure to check that out. Anyway, the raid call is hashtag Murraid. And um, yeah, you can use the yay buttons or the evil mer emote or whatever you like. Just go there and be cool and be friendly like you always are in my stream. So thank you guys. Um, I hope... Pig may pig rides may happen if I can find a cauldron. 
absolutely. I'm so excited. But um, probably should have gone to the face screen again. Although we are just turning it off. So um, thank you guys. I may stream tomorrow if I get some good work done. Because I'm liking this solo RPG thing. And that was my plan to like do it on Wednesdays. But um, yeah, we'll see you next time.